Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. A vendor recently reached out to me and asked me to review two of their solar panels and also a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. So the company is HQST, which stands for High Quality Solar Technology. So what we're gonna do today, I've already charged up this lithium iron phosphate battery. So we're gonna take a look at the features and then we're going to do a capacity test on it. Now the solar panels, I can't test those today because it's been raining for the last week, but I will go over the specs and then we'll test them at a later time. I will say this with these solar panels, something I was pretty impressed with off the bat. I have over a hundred solar panels at my house and shop right now. And this is the first one that actually sent plastic corners to protect the solar panels and then had foam that covered the front to protect the front of the panel. Everybody else, it's been um, minimally packed. I'll put it that way. So quite excited to see this. I'm seeing a lot of, uh, lot of aspects of not only the panels, but the battery that screams quality. So we'll get into it, but thought it was something cool and I wanted to mention it because nobody likes receiving solar panels with one damaged. For the battery, it is 100 amp hours. Of course, it's a 12 volt battery. Uh, max uh, discharge is 100 amp, so it has a 100 amp BMS on it. It's good for 3000 cycles uh, at 80%, which is a little bit low, but they have a chart that kind of goes through it and it will do over 4000 at 70%. Uh, as far as with the capacity. The uh, size of it is 13.7 inches by 8.66 inches by 6.77 inches. It is compatible with the Group 31 battery box. It's 22 pounds. It does have low temperature protection, high temperature protection. So if you are, if you have this outside and you throw a charger on it and it's too cold, it won't you know, try to uh, charge and damage the cells. So that is kind of nice. You can put up to four batteries in parallel and also you can do up to four in series. So it says in series parallel, you can have 16 batteries. So you can, you know, add 16 batteries and make it 48 volt, uh, 400 amp hours. So that is kind of nice. It is scalable. Um, usually I see you know, you can only put X amount of batteries, but with this one, they're allowing you to do a little bit more. It does talk about, you know, the uh, conductor size that they recommend. And for, you know, a BMS that has 100 amps, it's saying that uh, six gauge wire is probably what you should go with. Of course, if you have multiple uh, batteries in parallel, you're going to want to use a thicker wire because you'll be able to move more amperage. It does have the discharge curve for it and uh, some few other goodies. And then it talks about LED screen meter. This is cool. Let me show you this. Check this out. It actually will show you what your voltage is, what your current current is, so either charging or discharging, and then shows where the capacity is at right on the top of the battery. Now I haven't seen this on uh, any of the 12 volt batteries that, uh, that I've tested as of yet. Maybe it's on a few, but this is awesome. It turns right off automatically. If you are, you know, charging, discharging, it'll, it'll stay on for a bit, but kind of cool. Here's what the front of it looks like. Um, it is made in China. It has, you know, your typical warnings that you would see on it. Don't short circuit, don't try to disassemble you know, a few other things on it. So next we're going to talk about the solar panels. Now it didn't have a manual in here, so I just kind of pulled the sticker off the back of one of the panels. Uh, but as far as the panel, it is the HSP 200D. So it is a 200 watt solar panel. The open circuit voltage is 23.12 volts. Open circuit current is 10.77 amps. And then the optimal uh, operating voltage is 19.72 volts. So it is a little bit lower. Typically you'll see like around 30 volts or so. So it is a little bit uh, lower in the voltage, but it does pack a lot of amperage to get that uh, 200 watts. A um, couple things that I found that's pretty interesting on it. The max system voltage is 600 volts. So you can put a bunch of these in series to, uh, to get it up to 600 volts, which 
not too many people have their raise that high as far as, you know, uh, average DIYers. I know with mine, I'm going to be running around 380 volts with, uh, with my setups, but it can do up to 600 volts. And the, uh, the solar panel is uh, pretty light. It is 23.59 pounds. And then the size is 30.1 inches by 53.5 inches by 1.18 inches thick. So pretty cool panel. I don't know much about how well that it performs as of yet. I do need to perform tests. Once again, I got to wait till it's sunny out. But from what I see, the build quality does look really nice. All right, so on the back, you've got your regular MC4 connections and then obviously the, uh, the cables. Uh, it does have the markings on the back, which one is the positive and negative, but you can easily tell by looking at it. Um, what is actually pretty interesting is you could take this back cover off. You can see the, uh, the blocking diodes that are in there. And you got your nice little gasket. So there's your two diodes. Uh, but what's neat about this is you could probably replace the, uh, the wires if they ever went bad. So that's kind of nice that you can open it up and service it. I like that. And then if you ever had to replace the, uh, uh, the diodes for some reason, you can do that. So like I said, the build quality on this seems to be pretty good. So this is, uh, yeah, this is kind of neat. So I like this cover being able to pull off nice uh, gasket on it, you know, to keep it uh, water resistant. So I'll put this back together, but overall, happy so far with what that I see. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is a capacity test on the battery. So I have a brand new capacity tester that I have in. This will be able to pull a little bit more current on it. I won't be able to do a 0.2C draw, but I can definitely do a 0.1 draw. So I'm going to do that, and we'll see how well that this battery tests out. So the capacity test just finished, and I'm looking at the numbers. I'm not sure if I can believe this or not. So this is the first time using this capacity tester, this KP184, and it's supposed to be uh, pretty accurate, but I'm going to charge this battery back up again, and I'm gonna use my other tester. And uh, once again, I wanna see if I can verify these numbers because a 100 amp hour battery putting out 106 amp hours uh, I haven't seen that before. So if this is the case, this is probably one of the best uh, 12 volt batteries out here, which it's possible, but I'm going to uh, retest and just kind of ensure that uh, this isn't, you know, a, uh, a one off. All right, so let's go ahead and charge it back up. All right, so my second capacity tester just finished. Very close to what the first one said. So my other capacity tester said just a hair over 106 amp hours. This one was almost 106, so 105.73 amp hours. And this is out of this 100 amp hour battery. It's made by High Quality Solar Technology, HQST. Out of all the batteries that I've tested so far, percentage wise, this one has outperformed any other battery tested thus far for percentage over capacity. So 100 amp hours, we got roughly 106, so 6% 6 above its rated capacity. And that was with two different testers. I'm excited about this. I, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I wasn't expecting this to be that good. And I can't wait to test out their, uh, their solar panel. So I'll be doing that in another video, but yeah, definitely recommend checking this one out. A um, lot of features on it, slick black case. It's got the, uh, the battery capacity and voltage and its charge and all that information up on top. But yeah, great test, great product, highly recommend. I'll have links below. Once again, thank you for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.